Here we are with Tice, video logging, running along the Willamette River. Going towards downtown Portland. What do you got to say, Tice? Amazing run. Look at the views, guys. Everybody back I mean, in Holland. You don't get these views in Holland, though. Great run. Got my new shoes on. These are feeling great. And yeah. All right. Say bye. Bye bye, guys. Hey, guys. So we just made a break on this bridge with because we wanted to show you the beautiful view over here. You can see downtown Portland over here. Bob is running in front of me. But look at this, guys. Like, oh my God. It looks so amazing here. We just stopped so you could see the view. Show that the sub. There's a submarine over there. We're gonna jog over and cross over the two bridges down. Yeah, we're gonna jog over there. So this is in total a six mile run, it's going really great and yeah, we had a pace of 7.10 seven seven average. 7.10 average per mile, so that's great, we're going good and yeah, just enjoy, enjoy the view guys. And today we have a special day because it's not a normal vlog that I used to do. Today we are gonna make healthy muffins. These muffins we had uh, this cup past week and it's a recipe of Car uh, Carolyn's and yeah we just love them. They're healthy so there's a great it's a great snack and they taste delicious. So I'm gonna let you step by step know how to make these and yeah maybe you can make them yourself to start eating or snacking healthy that will be great so first thing you have to do is preheat the oven of course to 350 degrees it's it's it, you have to do this because if you're finished you want to make sure the oven is ready to pour it in so that's the first step the second step is you spray your baking uh, thing in with this oil the spray oil uh, it's really easy just just spray it spray all the cups in like that um, I'm gonna do all of those the second thing we're gonna do is mix everything up so we're starting with these three, three ingredients we have the banana bread mix so I'm gonna pour that into the big bowl. Then when we when I've done that, we're gonna put in the walnuts. We have a big bag of walnuts, but it's probably just something like one and a half one handful of walnuts you need, or one and a half. Uh, that's gonna be enough, otherwise there are two more walnuts. Uh, so I'm just taking one hand of the walnuts gonna pour it just pour it in and then we have this uh, seal cut organic oats we got these at trader joe's so i don't know if they sell it in the normal supermarkets you just need to a little bit of these just the uh, the bottom of it needs to be filled so just a little hand of these um this ingredient so now we got all those things up, we're just going to mix these together. So just, mi just mix it. Oh, thank you, B. And uh, then the next step where we're going to take is put in this. And this is the pumpkin pie mix. This is a great flavor for the mix. You don't want to put in too much because it, oh, that wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be a muffin anymore. It would just be like... Uh, something like pie or something like that. So we're gonna put in three quarters of this can. It's a big can, so we're just pouring that in. Let's see. That's probably enough. So once you have done that, I'll just mix that with it again. 
so mix that. And as you can see, all these ingredients are healthy. You don't have to put any sugar in it or any kind of sugar. Uh, you don't have to put in milk or anything like that. And the last thing you're gonna put in is these blueberries to make it taste really good. These just go through, through all the muffins and it gets a really good flavor. And yeah, it's just delicious and it's healthy. So it is just great because I'm working on this mini diet and I'm working out a lot. And I sometimes through the day, I just want to snack, just have something, just snack something. And then it's gonna be a cookie or ice cream or something like that, and that's not healthy. So Carolyn came with this this recipe, and we tasted it. Me and Bob, we love it. We we had 12 of those, and we ate all of them in three or four days. So now we're making it again, and I'm making a video of it, so I can make it later on. In a couple weeks, I can make it again. So. If you have all mixed that all, the only thing you have to do is put it in the cups, put it in the oven, and then you're all set. And if they're done, well, they're gonna taste delicious and it's a great snack. I'll show you what it, how it's gonna be like when they get out of the oven. Okay, it turned out to be before it goes in the oven. It already looks delicious. And yeah, I can, I'm, it's hard to not eat it like this. So yeah, we'll let you see how it turn, turned out to be after we put it in the oven. So that's great and I hope it works out good. Hey guys, so the muffins have just been in the oven for 40 minutes and now they are finally done. They're, I let them cool down so it's a little late, but I'm going to show you. This is what it turned out to be. It's a great muffin and I'm going to cut it in half to let you see how it looks from the inside. And remember guys, it's a healthy snack, so if you, if you want to keep a healthy just you can easily use these as snacks it's good for you it gives you energy and yeah it has fruit in it so what do you want more like this is the inside you can see the blueberries in and the walnuts here like this is amazing guys if you like this just you can easily make this at home i guess the ingredients are available in milk um, um any stores and yeah, if you like this video and you want me to show you guys more of healthy, healthy food or healthy videos, let, I can show you that. If you, if you guys liked it, just give me a comment, thumbs up. And of course, you, need, you can also subscribe to my channel to see my former videos and my next upcoming vlogs. So thank you so much for being with me on this video. I really liked doing this. I really want to thank Carolyn, thank Carolyn for showing me this recipe and letting me share this with you. So let me get, let me know uh, what you think of the video, and I'll see you on the next vlog. Thank you. Have a great day.